Good day everyone! I am Bismarck Ehemaka Tigib, taking up Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Mathematics. Today, I will be discussing about Unit 3.3, Cognitive Processes, Module 14, Constructivism, Knowledge Construction, Concept Learning. But before that, let me first tell you the objectives of this module. First is, explain the role of constructivism in facilitating learning. Second is, distinguish, compare, and contrast behaviorism from constructivism. Third is, discuss cognitivism theory. And lastly, explain the role of a teacher in constructivism theory in facilitating learning. What is constructivism? Constructivism is a theory on how humans generate knowledge and meaning from an interaction between their experiences and their ideas. It is also based on observation and scientific study about how people learn. It says that people construct their own understanding and knowledge of the world through experiencing things and reflecting on those experiences. Constructivism is a view of learning based on the belief that knowledge isn't a thing that can be simply given by the teacher at the front of the room to the students in their desk. Rather, knowledge is constructed by learners through an active, mental process of development. Learners are the builders and creators of meaning and knowledge. When we encounter something new, we have to reconcile it with our previous ideas and experience. Maybe changing what we believe or maybe discarding the new information as irrelevant. In any case, we are active creators of our own knowledge. To do this, we must ask questions, explore, and assess what we know. Let's proceed to our next slide, which is the role of constructivism in facilitating learning. The constructivism learning theory argues that people produce knowledge and form meaning based upon their experiences. Instead of giving a lecture, the teachers in this theory function as facilitators whose role is to aid the students when it comes to their own understanding. Constructivism is an important learning theory that educators use to help their students learn. Basically, learners use their previous knowledge as a foundation and build on it with new things that they learn. So everyone's individual experiences make their learning unique to them. Constructivism is crucial to understand as an educator because it influences the way all of your students learn. Teachers and instructors that understand the constructivist learning theory understand that their students bring their own unique experiences to the classroom every day. Their background and previous knowledge impacts how they are able to learn. Example, an elementary school teacher presents a class problem to measure the length of the Mayflower. Rather than starting the problem by introducing the ruler, the teacher allows students to reflect and to construct their own methods of measurement. Differences and similarities of behaviorism and constructivism The key difference between these two approaches is that behaviorism is centered around transmission of knowledge from the instructor to the student, passive student, and a top-down or instructor-centered approach, whereas constructivism is focused on the construction of knowledge by the student, active student, and a bottom-up or student-centered approach. Behaviorism is a philosophy based on the proposition that all things which organisms do, including acting, thinking, and feeling, 
can and should be regarded as behaviors. The constructivist psychologists theorize about and investigate how human beings create systems for meaningfully understanding their worlds and experiences. Behaviorism and constructivism are similar in that they both involve actions. Behaviorism is based on students modifying their actions due based on the predicted outcome. Constructivism is based on students performing actions so that the outcome is that they learn more effectively. The similarities between constructivism and behaviorism are they are both theories of learning. They both try to explain how a student learns and acquires knowledge. They both try to define the role of a learner in an educational system. And they both try to explain the manner in which this structuring, presentation, and implementation of learning materials are executed. Let's move on to our next slide which is the role of a teacher in constructivism theory in facilitating learning. The role of the teacher in the social constructivist classroom is to help students to build their knowledge and to control the existence of students during the learning process in the classroom. The idea of the limited role of the teacher is that this encourages students to engage in collaborative learning. A productive, constructivist classroom then consists of learner-centered, active instruction. In such a classroom, the teacher provides students with experiences that allow them to hypothesize, predict, manipulate objects, pose questions, research, investigate, imagine, and invent. The teacher's role is to facilitate this process. A constructivist teacher is able to flexibly and creatively incorporate ongoing experiences in the classroom into the negotiation and construction of lessons with small groups and individuals. The environment is democratic. The activities are interactive and student-centered and the students are empowered by a teacher who operates as a facilitator or consultant. According to Kampf, constructivist teachers allow student responses to drive lessons, shift instructional strategies, and alter content. According to Andon, a teacher as a facilitator should provide rich environments, experiences, and activities for learning by incorporating opportunities for collaborative work, problem-solving, authentic tasks. And now, let us proceed to Cognitivism Theory. Cognitivism is the study in psychology that focuses on mental processes, including how people perceive, think, remember, learn, solve problems, and direct their attention to one stimulus rather than another. It also involves the study of mental events rather than actual behaviors. These mental events are concerned with acquiring, processing, storing, and retrieving information. Cognitivism is the study of cognition that emphasizes the role of mental structure or organization. Cognitivism is a learning theory according to which mental processes mediate learning and learning entails the construction or reshaping of mental schemata. Cognitivists believe that knowledge resides in complex memory structures in the human mind called schemata and learning is a process of changing these structures. Cognitive processes combine the acquisition of knowledge and skills with the ability to apply information to new situations. For example, when a student learns about addition and subtraction, he is able to transfer that knowledge when he uses it to create a budget to help him save money for a new video game. 
The learner's mental structure refers to the organized totality of an individual's knowledge, also called cognitive structure. The mental structure is a concept that includes not only the learner's previous related knowledge, but also the strategies that the learner might bring to bear on the current situation. In this view, the individual's pre-existing network of concepts, strategies, and understanding makes experience meaningful. Constructivism focuses on the idea that students create knowledge through learning experiences such as inquiry-based learning or problem-based learning. Behaviorism is centered on the idea that students learn through reactions to their behavior or by observing the behavior of others. Cognitivism focuses on mental processes, including how people perceive, think, learn, solve problems, and direct their attention to one stimulus rather than another. The role of the teacher in the social constructivist classroom is to help students to build their knowledge and to control the existence of students during the learning process in the classroom. That ends my report. I hope you have learned something.